With this 5K 27 inches Philips display, we will be able to connect our Google Pixel 10 Pro or Huawei Mate X6, a MacBook Pro or even a Windows laptop without needing any docking station or hub. We just need to connect a USB Type-C cable from our phone to the display and all the peripherals that we plug into the back of the display, like a mouse, a keyboard or gamepad, will work with the phone or with the laptop letting using it just like a pc if we are talking about a mobile phone of course now here i did connect two different phones and two different laptops and all of them worked amazingly well just a awesome experience and really simple. I just shared a video about this USB Type-C hub, which is great for situations where we don't have the luxury to have an integrated hub. And this is one of the ways to get by, which is to get one of these, connect to our laptop or mobile phone, and then we will be able to connect the peripherals right over here, a HDMI cable into the display, and we will have a workaround, which is great. But this Philips 5K that I'm testing has so many awesome features, especially the 5K display with these awesome colors and soon I will share the full video about it. Plus, besides working as a USB hub like we have right over here, it has something which is really special to us, which is a integrated KVM. We have the Huawei Mat X6 connected and at this moment I'm controlling with the keyboard and mouse which is connected to the display itself to the USB hub which also has KVM. So if I pick my keyboard and press three times on the control what happens is that it will change to the other source which is my MacBook Pro at this moment and I will be able to use the same peripherals that I do have right over here, the mouse, the keyboard, any peripheral that I do connect to the display. So it's not only a USB hub, it's also a KVM, which when I press three times on the control of my keyboard, it will change in this particular case to the Huawei Mat X6. And if I press three times once again, it will cycle to this source here, MacBook Pro. Now I could be using two different computers, a Windows and Mac OS or Linux or two different mobile phones, two different operating systems, and I will have access to all the peripherals that I do have connected. And of course, a display, which already has a USB hub, which is something that usually we need to purchase to use multiple devices. And best is that it has also a KVM switch built in, which is easy to use as this, just a triple tap on the control key and we are ready to keep on working, but at this moment on the Huawei Mat X6. So I'm really loving the first impressions of this display and the KVM part is just one of the details, which at the end of the day, so many details together make a awesome machine, an awesome device, an awesome product, in this particular case, a display. But for those that follow the channel for quite some time, you know that we have tested so many docking stations, so many hubs, so many KVMs, which is something that I use on a daily basis to go from one operating system to another operating system without wasting too much time. And in here is already integrated. And the best is that it's so simple to use it. One of the simplest KVMs that I've used and it's integrated on the display. And if I sound surprised, it's because I am. I didn't read this feature on the spec list before I did receive it. And even if I did, usually KVMs on displays are awkward. They then don't work well, so we need to get proper KVMs. And here, I do feel honestly that just by pressing the control button three times, I will be able to change my operating system just using one single cable. In this particular case, I do have one single cable for the mobile phone. And then I have a USB Type-C cable to the laptop and HDMI my coming out of the laptop to give image. So three cables in this particular setup and then all the peripherals at the back. And this is it for this particular feature, which I hope that you enjoyed to know about the Philips 5K. And if that was the case, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.